Hey y'all, you're watching Porty's Garage. Normally, when you see me on this channel, I'm usually wrenching on my 83 Mustang or the occasional something or other on my 22 F-150. But we got something new in store for you today. Added a new car to the stable. Is it even a car? You might consider it more of a boat. This is my new, to me, 1994 Cadillac Fleetwood Broham all of its glory. I found this land yacht on Marketplace. Went to check it out and I was surprisingly shocked by how clean the underside was. Normally 30 year old cars up here in Michigan are pretty rotten out but this one was pretty sharp. I actually ended up buying the Carfax and figured out why. Started off life in Texas, spent three years in Alabama, one year in Texas, two years in Colorado, 14 years in Oklahoma, another year back in Colorado, two years in Nebraska, and then it finally ended up in Michigan in 2020. And that was all under just the first owner. The guy I bought it from drove it for about two years and then parked it in 2022 where it sat in the driveway awaiting its third owner, yours truly. The interior is even in really great shape too. No rips or tears in the leather. There is a little issue with the center console, but we'll get that fixed right on up. This 1994 model is actually the second year of a four year run these Fleetwoods made from 1993 to 1996. But importantly, this is the first year that these cars were powered by the LT1, which is shared by the Corvette and the Camaro Z28. So a little bit of power to get this big boat moving down the road. And coming in at a whole 18 feet long, this four door sedan is actually longer than my F-150. This caddy comes with keyless entry, auto trunk open, still works. Automatic antenna, also still works. In the true Classy Cal Cadillac sense, fuel door is behind the rear license plate. And just in case you don't want anyone running off with our hard earned gas, locks right up and is tied to the power locks. Lots of room in the back here and because only very important people ride in Fleetwoods, the rear users get their own vanity. Nice rocking 90s all digital dash. This ain't a sports car. All you need to know is your gas, your speed, and your miles. Upgraded head unit with Apple CarPlay, and it already has the Roadmaster HVAC panel swap. So, so many controls and adjustments for seats. It might make your head spin, but you are going to be very comfortable while you're doing it. And why call them something boring like auto headlights when you can call them the Twilight Sentinel? That's classy. Easy enough to disable traction control. Might have to see if we can get some uh, tires burning on this. And just listen to the sound of this door closing. Solid as a rock. The designers made it really easy to remember this is a Cadillac. One Cadillac crest up front, one out back, four, one for each wheel, two more in each of the side markers. We had another two in the Landau top C pillar, two again for the front uh, driver and passenger door sill, six in each seat belt, and one right there in the center of the horn. When you're driving a Cadillac, you shouldn't have to get out and check that your lights are working. So this Fleetwood comes with fiber optics built in that will show you that your lights are working. We got a blinker on the right in orange, low beams on the left in white, and high beams in the middle with green. Same thing for the rear. And it's such a nice view cruising down the road and getting to see that gold Cadillac crest right in front of you. Now this car wouldn't be on Porty's garage if it didn't need at least a little bit of work. A couple issues, one notably a pretty big leak in the exhaust manifold. Right. Oh. 
and a lot of cleanup to do. This car is dirty, dirty, dirty. Sitting for two years, didn't do any favors. We're gonna clean this baby up, get her right as rain. And of course, some interior work to do. Slight issue on the center console there. The dash is in several pieces. Got some B pillar missing over here. C pillars could use a little bit of work. And a few missing trim pieces here and there. And it wouldn't be a 30 year old car without a few dents and dings. A car with this much presence has got to have a name. Right now I'm torn between two, either the Flying Dutchman for its boat like attributes or maybe Gold Member because I love gold. Throw a comment down below if you like either of them more or if you got an even better idea that I haven't thought of. As you can see, got a little bit of work to do to get this old girl ready, but I'm confident with a little bit of DIY and hard work, we can get her back in pretty good shape. Hey, that's it for now. Like I said, a lot more coming. So if you want to see more, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.